Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an EBM bass line. This is more in the modern vein, so similar to bands like VNV Nation, Funkovort, or Icon of Coil. So for this example I'm using Reason 10. You can obviously do this in any door. Just follow along. So first of all, I'm going to create a redrum drum machine. This is where I'm going to sequence my drum pattern. I'm just going to reset it. I'm going to brass for kick sample. A good idea is maybe you have an e equalizer or some kind of VST which can tell you what key the kick is in. So I'm going to create a grain sample synth. I'm going to put that same kick in here and it's analyzed it over here as a G. I'm gonna create another drum machine. I'm gonna reset it. This one I'm gonna rename kick click. I'm gonna rename the first one kick bass. Right, and I'm gonna look for a kick again, but something which has got a nice bit of punch and air to it. I'm gonna look for something which will also be a G, or at least be in the key of a G. So a C will work. For the first kick, I'm gonna lay it down typical four on the floor, which is on the one, the five, the nine, and the 13. Oops, forgot to put it there. And put the tempo up to 130. And with my kick, I'm gonna remove everything from. 40 hertz down and from 300 hertz and above. Let's lay down the other cl click for the kick. Move all the low frequencies. about a thousand hertz. Make sure that your kick is mono and I'd like to have it peaking at about minus 10 dB. A good way to gauge the click is to listen to it very softly. And you just want to peek in through. Okay. So now that I know my kick is in G, in the key of G, I'm going to create a Thor synthesizer and I'm going to reset it. Okay, I'm going to open the programmer for the Thor synth. Make sure you reset it. And I'm gonna lay down a very simple baseline idea. Something in the key of G. If you wanna know what the key of G is, you can research it on the internet, of course, or check out scales and chords. G, G major, that's what it looks like. These are the keys you can use. You can always filter the notes so that you can filter it out if you make a mistake. Like there, it's blocking it, as you can see over here. Make sure you switch this off, chords off. Okay, this sounds very boring by itself. Create a RPG8 tour. <laughs> Make sure 
focus on that. It's a nice start, so make sure your baseline is mono. And you should have it probably about around two decibels lower than the kick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, this is the bass. I'm going to create a side chain with the kick and the bass. So I'm going to create a M class compressor and I'm going to duplicate the kick. Name it side chain, push tab, disconnect it, right click and send it to M compressor side chain. Go back to baseline. to my bass, so I'm going to go back to my kick, so I'm going to go to my kick and take a look at what frequency it's hitting. You can see the peak is over here, which is around 50-60 hertz, and you can see there's another one here at around 280. Now I want the kick to be at the bottom, so I'm gonna move everything from about 80 downwards, 80 hertz downwards, keeping this peak over here for the bass line. Thank you. 
idea is to do a frequency sweep of your bass line to hear if it's muddy or there's any frequencies you don't like. Line. Let's also just take a little dip out of 4K. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my baseline and I'm going to duplicate it. Let's play that. And I'm going to filter everything from 200 hertz or so out, down and then I'm gonna change it to a triangle wave I'm gonna sidechain this as well. So again, create a compressor. Oh wait, it's got a compressor. So sidechain this again, so I need another kick. Duplicate it. Tab, disconnect. Find your second compressor. Send it to the sidechain. Yeah, this one will change the attack in the music box. Okay, and I'm going to duplicate this bass, this bass line again one more time. This time I'm going to change it to multi oscillator. Keep it on the soul waves, chorus. I'm gonna increase some feedback, increase some dry wetness, change the shape to hard clip. the compressor off because it's uh, actually compressing the signal right now. I'm going to have, have a hello for the mic 100. So I'd like to make some frequency. Take this in on.
another drum machine and reset it find, find a clap a lot of these claps are distorted already put in it on the 5 and the 13 drum machine, re-drum machine, reset it, I'm gonna find a nice open hi-hat, So I hope that inspired you to make some music and have some fun. Thanks for watching. If you found that entertaining or fun, please follow, like, share. Origination. Overload.